Hey, Tony, Paul McLean here, Crestview RV, Buda, Texas. Thanks for the phone call. Coincidentally, I have two, and I forgot to check the weights on these. If it's going to be something that you just uh, put somewhere down for a while, you can always have it delivered. But for full timing, let me see what the weight is on this one. Yeah, see, we're going to be, I might be screwing up here a little bit. We're going to be heavy on both of these for your truck. I'm going to go ahead and do the videos any, <laughs> anyway. And then if, uh, if having it delivered and set down at an RV park or private land, whatever you're doing, is not an option, I need to find something smaller for you. Uh, but both of these impress me as great uh, temporary or full-time uh, quarters. They both have two awnings, as you can see here. No, I'm sorry, the other one's going to have one. They're both 2020s. This one is a Longhorn. Um, the floor plans are similar. The Jayco, which is a 2020, is going to have a slide out in the bedroom, which I think will be a winner winner. But that one obviously is going to be uh, too heavy for your truck as well. So let's do this anyway because I think you'll like these. Uh, neither one have water damage, which is the one thing you want to avoid for sure. This one doesn't have a ladder to the roof. The Jayco I'm going to show you does. This one is $25,500, and the Jayco I'm going to show you is just under $30, $29,780 or something like that. So there's going to be about a $5,000 difference between the two, or $4,000. Um, so I think you'll like that Jayco. I'm going to show you both in one video here, if possible. Let's look at the inside of this one, Tony. So both are rear living. Both have opposing slides, which gives you this island in the middle. Um, standard 10 cubic foot refrigerator freezer. Both are 50 amps with two ACs. Um, I wanted to say solid surface, but it's not. But it's at least one piece. It's not that T-mold, I don't think. It's all a Texas, Texas Star motif. There's your pantry. Fridge, pretty standard microwave, three burner range, and oven. I think they both have the fireplace. So the fireplace for full timing is huge because, of course, all it is is a space heater. You can always get a space heater, but this is kind of convenient to already have it on there, and it makes a nice nightlight as well. The couch would make you into a bed when and if you ever needed it to. I like these wood blinds, and they're in good shape. They look a little bit better than those... Uh, accordion fabric blinds. A couple comfortable recliners here directly across from your television. Lots of windows. The dinette would make into a bed if you ever needed it to. This is where a lot of your kitchen appliances could live right here on this countertop. It has a dual entry bathroom. Porcelain toilet. I checked that out for you. Some good storage here. That's, well, it's pretty... I take that back. It's pretty shallow, but you can put some towels or whatnot in there. And then you have access from the hallway or from the bathroom into this bedroom. Standard queen bed, 60 by 80, 110 and USB on either side of your bed. And it looks like they had a TV in here, but they took the mount out so we could do that for you. So that's kind of option one for 25.5. Let's take a quick ride over to the other one that I have opened up for us. And then I'll come back and close that up. One big advantage, Tony, to our location here and is unique to our location is the RV park. And what that does is that allows you to make certain by via an overnight stay for no charge that everything's 100%. The worst thing that could happen is you get all set up at the RV park or your private land, everything's moved in, all the dishes, everything, and you find out the water heater doesn't work or the fridge is on the blink. So here you can eliminate that. If it's just a camper, it's not quite so bad because you can bring it in and leave it. But if you're staying in it, that's not really possible. So that eliminates that possibility. If you stay overnight in it with us here, the next morning the same technician that did the orientation class for you can make sure everything worked out great for you. 
So here's the second one, same year. The biggest difference, Tony, is gonna be that slide right there. That's gonna be a bedroom slide, and this one even has a combo washer dryer. So that alone is worth the difference in the price, I do believe. This one just has the one awning, but it's on your main side here. This one has a ladder to the roof. This is an outside television mount. You'll have that same mount in your bedroom, is my guess. Again, on a used, you just want no water damage, which neither one of these have. But they're too big for your truck, so I'm kind of screwing up there. Outside uh, shower here, and this one, as I mentioned, has the ladder to the roof, and evidently they had a pretty nice antenna on this. Let's look at the inside of this one for you, Tony. A hundred dollars deposit would take either one of these off the market while we arrange financing or while we give you time to come see it in person. So you can call me with that if any one of these floats your boat. So this is kind of nice because it's a peninsula island kitchen instead of the uh, island island. Does that make any sense? So you have a lot more room in this area here. Still do have the fireplace, bigger TV. This is a nicer camper, and it's a Jayco that you kind of called in on anyway. Recliners, freestanding table and chairs. What's nice about these freestanding table and chairs is that's just held on by four screws. So if you ever needed this area for anything else, dog kennels, work desk, what have you, that's easy to do. Same size fridge, gas, electric, both. Does not come with these Oakleys. It's everything I can do not to grab those, but they're not mine. <laughs> um, again, a nice place for all your appliances to live here on this counter space. And then the biggest difference, you have the double entry just like that other one. Is this porcelain? It is. So porcelain toilet, not plastic. That's what you want for full timing. Glass enclosed shower that I may or may not be able to do with one hand here for you. It do. So a big nice shower here with the uh, always present skylight and deeper storage here than that other one for you. And then either through that door or through the hallway here, this will have the third slide. So this is so much more home-like because now this bed is in the slide out, magic hands, and super nice mattress. Well, not that nice, it looks better than it is. Should have some lights up under here. But second AC here for you, there's the uh, TV mount that I mentioned. So you could pop the TV off your bedroom and put it outside anytime you wanted to. Tonight is the fights. So that would be a good night to do that. Big closet here. So when, Tony, you have the bed in a separate slide out here, that's when you get all this closet space. But for the piece de resistance, you have a combination washer dryer already installed. So that's 2,500 to three grand right there installed. So that alone, makes up the difference in the price between the two. So I'm gonna send these to you. It may be all for moot point because you can't pull these with your current truck, but if you're just going to, like I say, you can have it delivered for a couple hundred bucks, I bet, depending on where you're going. Set it down, live in it for a while, flip it, whatever you're gonna do. You have my number already because we've spoken, but it is for anybody else, 406-696-4750. Montana number, Buta, Texas location, almost Montana weather right now. 406-696-4750, too tall Paul. 100 bucks to put your name on either one of these, Tony. And let me know if it's something you absolutely need to have uh, pullable by your truck, then we'll start from scratch. But meanwhile, let's go camping.